Hey guys, what's going on and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be reviewing the Autovox M1W. The W stands for wickedly easy to install a camera. But realistically it stands for wireless. But we won't tell you that. <laughs> Alright guys, so today we're going to be working with the Autovox M1W and the W stands for wireless, which means it cuts out one of the harder steps of running a backup camera, which is running the cable from the back of the vehicle to the front of the vehicle. And some people, they just don't like to do that. Maybe the vehicle has a lot of parts in it that make it difficult to access, or maybe it's just uh, a personal preference. Maybe you guys just don't want to get in involved with that part of the process. This makes it crazy easy to install a backup camera. If you guys were making up excuses before of reasons why you didn't install a backup camera, those excuses are gone with this. This is the easiest backup camera system to install on the planet. And I have installed a lot of backup camera systems. So today I'm going to show you how to install it on the Mercedes project. Now, what those of you those of you guys that are aware of my channel or those of you guys that are coming here to watch an install video of a backup camera, let me just say this. If you are ever working on German cars, Mercedes, BMW, and some Japanese cars, they have something that is called signal sensing. And signal sensing is the ability for the car to know when one of the bulbs is out. And the way that works is it sends a low current to the bulb and if the bulb pushes back that current then it knows that the bulb is out. The problem is that low current causes voltage fluctuations. Voltage fluctuations means that instead of getting the constant 12 volts you may be getting 12 and the next second you're getting 5. Voltage fluctuations like that will make this product not work on your vehicle unless you purchase a capacitor and I'm gonna go ahead and leave in the description below a capacitor for you guys to purchase you guys can pick one up for six dollars and if that's something that you guys are interested in purchasing and you guys want to know how to use capacitors check out this video over here this video is going to explain the process of installing a capacitor on your vehicle that is probably my only gripe about this product and I'm going to go ahead and say that I cheated and I installed this already and I'm going to go ahead and reinstall it again and I'm going to show you side by side how my Mercedes aftermarket backup camera compares to the M1W. Let's go ahead, get this thing wired in and then show you how quick and easy it is to do. So we're going to take a look and see what comes inside the M1 packaging. Straight off the bat you get the M1 warranty program and you get an instruction pamphlet over here that is about two steps and then here you get the LCD screen and so you guys get the LCD screen you get wire taps to tap into your positive and negatives on your reverse light you get a transmitter here's the transmitter the wireless transmitter for your vehicle it also comes with an antenna plugs in right here and then it has this little cap that if you guys decide to hardwire this you guys can just cap it off but if you guys invested the money into this you're not going to be hardwiring it so there we have that suction cup that's for the monitor the cigarette lighter this is also for the monitor nothing really fancy except it has an extra USB so it's not taking up your cigarette lighter space now lastly you have the actual camera itself the actual camera itself is pretty cool if I say so myself because it pivots so it allows you to get the best angle possible and this is the kicker it has a photo sensor to know 
whether or not it's nighttime or it's daylight outside so the LEDs are not always on. You can actually plug this in directly to a positive 12 volt constant and it will only turn on the LEDs when it's dark enough, which is awesome. That's really, really cool. So you guys don't have to worry about burning those puppies out. So let's go ahead, get all this wired into the car. I'm gonna show you how it works and then we're gonna jump inside the car and then uh, compare side by side how it goes with the uh, aftermarket Mercedes backup camera. So the very first thing that you guys are gonna be doing is positioning the Autovox camera into the location that you want. The cool thing about this camera is you don't have to drill anywhere to mount it because you can just peel off the sticky tape on this side and stick it to your license plate or peel off the sticky tape on this side and then stick it straight over in front of your vehicle, just like that. And that's what we're gonna do. Now you guys are probably asking, well, how do you guys, how are you gonna get the wires into the car? That's not that difficult. In my case, I'm gonna take apart the trunk lip over here and then I'm gonna pull out the bulb and then run the wire behind the bulb. And if you guys want to see the process of removing this trunk lip and the process of running the cable actually to the location of my reverse light, I'm gonna go ahead and leave that video right here. And the reason I'm doing that is because this video would be insanely long if I had to show you all of those steps step by step. So I recommend that if you guys want to see the process of doing that, check out that video. So now that you guys have installed the camera on the actual lip of the vehicle or the actual trunk of the vehicle, you're now at this step. This step, you're going to open up your area and there you're going to find the cable of your camera. You're going to have to now plug into the proprietary AutoVox adapter, which has the video and has the power connection. And this only goes on one way. There's a little tooth right here. It's going to slide in and you're going to hear it click. Now that you have that, the next thing you have to do is simply screw on your antenna and then find your negative and your positive on your vehicle. So in my case, if you guys go ahead and take a look in here, I have already located the positive on the Mercedes-Benz right there. And if you guys don't know how to do that, it's really, really simple and I'm going to show you right now. For my reverse light is I would put the vehicle into reverse or have someone help you with that. That way the vehicle does not run you over. You do not want to have that happen. And then pull off the harness and then start testing for which one of these has power when the vehicle is in reverse. And there you go. There is your one, your cable that has positive when the vehicle is in reverse. So we're gonna go ahead and tap on right there and that's where we're gonna hook up our positive onto it. Our negative, we can hook up to our ground cable on the Mercedes, which is the brown one. But if you guys don't know the ground cable of your vehicle, you can try and find it online or you guys can use a 12 volt tester in reverse. Put it hooked up to a 12 volt source and then it will light up when it touches the ground. Or if you guys don't want to do that, what you guys can do is do this. You can go to a piece of metal like that point back there and you can ground to there. So you guys would essentially be taking the black and then grounding it right there in that position. So now we're going to go ahead and do all of that and then what's going to end up happening is this area right here is going to light up. That indicates that you have power. And once it has power, what you can do is take this 3M tape and stick this anywhere back there inside the vehicle. And that's it. Now we just have to go inside the car and then we will see how well does the AutoVox perform against the aftermarket backup camera that I installed. As you guys can see, this is what it looks like when the unit is powered on. Now, if you remember a long time ago when I started this channel, I did this test with a few backup cameras where I stuck them into a trunk because it was really, really dark and showed you that they lied about being infrared. 
I'm going to show you that this is what a real camera should look like in pitch black conditions. So let me show you something straight off the bat. I went ahead and positioned the camera now inside the trunk so I can run this test. Check this out. If I take my hand I cover the photo sensor, LEDs come on instantly. So at night when you're reversing, the LEDs will come on and then in the daytime they won't be on, which is amazing. Let's go ahead and put this camera in here and then take our trusty license plate and put it inside the trunk of the vehicle just like that and then we'll be able to see if we can read that license plate. Let's go. Now we're inside the car we can do the final step which is taking the cigarette lighter and plugging it in. As soon as you plug it in you will instantly have your backup camera image and check that out. That is a beautiful display and it lights up that trunk and that license plate is clearly visible. Even though it's upside down, it is clearly visible. That is awesome. Now this screen does allow you to adjust for brightness. It does allow you to adjust for contrast, color, English, your mode, and then you can reset it. So it has a lot of little features on here but for the most part the camera does what it proclaims to do now what we're going to do is position it on the trunk lip and then we're going to see side by side the visual quality of my aftermarket camera versus the autovox one all right guys so check this out look at the video picture side by side and as you can see the quality on the autovox is amazing keep in mind it is wireless so as long as you're not reversing at five miles an hour, you should have this constant steady picture. Other than that, it is beautiful. I love the camera. I think it's great. I think for the price point and how easy it is to install, you guys can't go wrong with this. There's your proof, side by side. All right guys, just like the Autovox M1, I'm gonna go ahead and give this Autovox M1 W away to a lucky subscriber. If you guys are interested in this giveaway, it has three simple rules. Rule number one, be a subscriber. I know you are, so don't try and fake it. Rule number two, leave a comment in the section below and give the video a thumbs up. Rule number three, when we hit 3,000 subscribers, I will randomly pick someone for the Autovox M1W. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video, stay with the community, and continue to see this project unfold. In the meantime, take care and peace out.